I was just in Allentown, Pennsylvania. The person that said yeah has never been there ever. <laughs> have you been there? What a dog shit town that is. Holy fuck. I know Billy Joel has a song about it, but I have a few choice words of my own about that place. I'm pretty sure their town motto is drinking while pregnant. I think that's... Yeah, I think that's what's written on their municipal building. There are quite a few mutants up in that piece. One of which booked the show I was doing. I was uh, performing in a Ramada Inn because shit is going good. <laughs> and the woman that booked me was like instantly evil, instantly nasty. She sounded like she ate a carton of cool cigarettes. <laughs> and she was about 5'3 five, three by 5'3. Five, three. <laughs> Just a perfect circle of a person. <laughs> she had the most inexplicable teeth I've ever seen in my entire life. Have you run into this in 2017? Where you're like, oh, you haven't taken advantage of any of the advancements in dentistry <laughs> over the last 100 years because it is fucking mayhem in your mouth. Seriously, how is it post 2K and you look like Captain Jack Sparrow? <laughs> it is bananas. So like three seconds before I go on stage, right? She kind of rolled over to me. <laughs> And she gets right in my ear and she's like, by the way, this is a clean club. This is a no language room. I was like, I don't even know what the fuck that means. <laughs> no language room? What do you want me to fart into the microphone? <laughs> Not even body language? Like what can't, what can I do? So I'm immediately in my head trying to go through the material that I think even fits her criteria. And I get on stage three seconds after I say hello, some dude in the front row who is using his mullet as a beer koozie. <laughs> stood up, heckles me, and goes, I think I've seen your dick on Snapchat. <laughs> I was like, that's now twice in two minutes that I don't know what the fuck any of buddy means. <laughs> you think you've seen my dick on Snapchat? Well, then I have a question for you, fella. How did you then attach my dick to my face? <laughs> what physical quality did my penis have where you took one look at me and you're like, I have seen this guy before. <laughs> I don't know, man. My, my dick might be on Snapchat. I have no idea. I just hope it's represented well. Do we have people on Snapchat? Do you guys use the snaps? Yeah? Are you good at it? Is there a good? Who knows? I use it when I'm only on the toilet, so I call it my snap shits. But if you're unfamiliar with what it is, which I assume you all know, but if you're unfamiliar, it's an application on your smart device where people can take a photo or a video of themselves wearing a dog's face and become substantially more attractive somehow. <laughs> right? Who knew that a dog was that close to me wanting to have sex with it? I had no idea that a canine was but a shaved face and a good jawline away from me wanting to take one down. I got, uh, I got food poisoning leaving Allentown because it's like the devil wanted to keep me there. It was kind of my fault though, it was, because I, I, I smoked pot before the ride home like a responsible motor vehicle operator. <laughs> it's not the best idea all the time. Sometimes it helps me, but other times I'll be high and in the middle of a long drive and just been like, I don't feel like doing this anymore. <laughs> yeah, driving, I get it. Turn, turn, pedal, pedal. Take the wheel, Jesus. I don't give a shit. <laughs> That's not what happened, lucky enough, but I did qu get quite hungry really quickly. <laughs> So I turned off to the first truck stop about eight minutes into my ride and I went straight to a Roy Rogers. Oh. Yeah, I'm not even certain that that's an active fast food chain anymore. <laughs> this one in particular, pretty sure it closed in the 90s and they just never told their employees. <laughs> there is no way it was up to code. <laughs> They're famous for their chicken though. Do you think I ordered their chicken? No, no because that would have taken two minutes. <laughs> I come from a long line of impatient Irish idiots that require instant gratification. It's true, like my grandpa is famous for taking bacon off of the pan while it's cooking and trying to eat it while cooling it in his mouth. At the same time, like literally like, like he's pelican swallowing a grease fire. Just, So 
I run in there. It's 11 a.m. I run directly to the heat lamp and I grab a double bacon cheeseburger right from under that thing and I eat it in three seconds while tweeting about how it was the greatest decision of my life. I had to amend that tweet three hours later. Be like, just a heads up, everybody. I am now pissing out of my asshole. I would have been better off eating the grass on the side of the road. But good news now, I get to catch up on all my snapshits. Yeah, rub one out to a lamb. <laughs>